Rwandans, friends of Rwanda, let strongly protest against Shagam 21. The call Idama and Yijamogwiza Yvonne made on February the 15th, 2021, highlighting injustices in Rwanda is continuing. Let's keep the frame alive. Idama Ange instructed us saying that if she was imprisoned, we should carry on the fight against the oppressive RPF regime. That regime is readying itself to host the heads of government meeting, a gathering of countries speaking English, and many of them are former British colonies. The Commonwealth meeting, namely Shagam 21, is scheduled to take place in Kigali between June 21st and June 27th. To prepare for the meeting, the Rwandan government arranged the necessary infrastructures with a particular purpose of making profits and getting the nations worth millions rather than caring for Rwandan lives. Think about the fact that Kigali took massive loans to build impressive accommodations to host the conference, but failed to give decent salaries to the teachers, jokingly called Gakweto, the one whose shoes have holes in them. Consider that the Rwandan regime doesn't worry about the misery and hunger that the majority of Rwandans experience except the small group of leading elite. Consider again that the one connected investor dispossessed the poor people in Kigali and these were chased away from their properties without any compensation. And finally, Consider that according to the ruling RPF, getting ready for the conference meant cleaning and removing from the capital Kigali any dirt including those at the bottom of society, the homeless and the street vendors, Abazunguzai, all these people being seen as rubbish to get rid of. Preparing for Shagam 21, translated into chasing and keeping silent those opposing the regime who are considered as enemies of the state. They have been or are being accused of propagating rumors meant to drive citizens into disobeying the government as if these citizens have to like those who are killing their families. Preparing for Shagam meant also for the regime going to track and kill Rwandan's refugees or return them forcibly to Rwanda and or destabilize and harass those in Marawi and elsewhere. The same government doing this persists with its lies towards its external partners, manipulates statistics about poverty in the country and reconciliation. Rwandans, friends of Rwanda, because of all these and many other issues not raised here, you understand that we have many reasons to go out in the street and protest again for the third time in a row on May the 14th at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Brussels time, and online on May the 15th at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, Brussels time. On Friday, May the 14th, the coverage of the global protest will be done by the studio Bombori Bombori. Radio Urumuri will cover the online protest on Saturday the 15th. We vividly invite you to participate to both protests in big numbers. Thank you. <laughs>